Well, howdy, gang. Welcome back. It's time for another episode. Uh, I know it's been a few days, but um, I've been, unfortunately, a little bit tied up with um, upgrading the computer, and uh, it took me, like, a, like a full day just to kind of get through the headaches of upgrading to Windows 10. Um, unfortunately, the um, first couple times I did the download, it actually stalled on the update. I had to start it from scratch, so I imagine their servers, just in general, are a little bit... Um, overwhelmed because how many people are um, upgrading because it is free to upgrade to Windows 10 so if you guys are you know looking to do so you might as well jump on that because I think you have to pay for it um, I think once the spring rolls around I'm not 100% sure on that either way the computer it has gotten an upgrade and uh, we're now running on a solid state drive so you can probably notice the game does run a lot smoother I like the boats and stuff in the background you can kind of see and uh, I did a RAM upgrade as well so we can kind of, um, you know, add a whole new round of assets on and not have to worry too much. And um, so yeah, we're finally back at it. Um, actually, what's, what's kind of funny is uh, during my process, I was kind of um, tweeting out some of my um, you know, frustrations and this and that regarding Windows 10. And the Windows uh, Twitter account reached out to me and they kind of, you know, offered some help and we had a little conversation back and forth. So that was, that was kind of cool. I, I enjoyed that. It's kind of neat when a, um, when a big company, you know, kind of reaches out on, on social media to us little guys. Kind of, it made my way, it made my day in a weird way, if that um, makes any sense. Okay, so on to this city. Now, uh, what I've done is just like a smidgen of um, off camera building and just some like random general improvements. And um, for the better, you'll kind of see what I've done. And I will definitely show you guys the working train station and um, our little bus station too. Like, I've got all the lines going, many, many, many lines, so it looks fantastic. But let me just kind of show you a few things since we're um, kind of doing an overhead view right now. So now that I pointed out, you'll be like, oh yeah. Some of you may have noticed that the solar area right here, it's gone. All those uh, solar um, fields, and, you know, those big solar power plants is the word I'm looking for, I guess. Um, so what I did is let me share my ambitious thoughts actually before I kind of tell you where those went. So this area in general, it's um, it's been neglected, I guess, for quite a few episodes now, especially our farm and just you know this whole interchange and just this you know this area. Ever since we made this interchange, you know, we really haven't done too much over here. And if we sneak a peek over at this small sector, you can kind of see, in terms of traffic, it's starting to back up a little bit here. And unfortunately, what I've noticed that a lot of people are actually doing is they're taking the highway down here, getting off the highway, and then getting immediately back on. And I remember when I built this neighborhood, or this little interchange, I think the episode afterwards, I was like, you know what, I should have gone the whole way with the highways. So I think I might actually do that. And I'm debating whether to do that off camera or um, on camera. I know some of you guys aren't really a fan of me doing these little off camera things, but sometimes it's just a uh, to kind of get the ball rolling, you know, so you don't just sit there and spend 20 minutes with me just, you know, laying a couple of roads here and there. But um, in general, I do want to keep, you know, off-camera building to a minimum, or at least I'll, you know, kind of fill you guys in on what I've done. But my my general plan is, uh, I'm just kind of going back to here, is I remove the solar fields because I want to firstly move this farm out of the way. And my thoughts for that, sorry, I'm just a little bit all over the place. Um, if we move the farm out of this area, I want to extend the highway. So I'll make a new interchange right here. I want to extend the highway through here, kind of take out this whole, you know, this sector right here. So the highway come in, maybe make its way to about here. We can do like a little big roundabout endpoint, have the highway turn back on itself. And then we can connect all those areas to um, essentially the highway. And then the farming, where that will be moved to is just this area. So I thought we could kind of make like a little buffer around our forestry sector of just like, you know, really, really dense trees. And then we can kind of open up the land in between our little small town and our little suburbs right here. And just kind of make, you know, farms in between. It kind of makes this area tie in a little bit more nicely, you know? So that's kind of my plan for that. And my plan for this area is to go, you know, a little bit backtracking We'll essentially have the highway um, go straight. We'll make an interchange right here. And then we'll have the highway link up underneath in here. And then we'll kind of meet back up with that. And then that keeps this interchange a little bit spaced out from here. So hopefully most of this will you know, be happening right around this little circular quadrant. 
And then if we um, get this little highway upgrade done correctly, I think the bulk of the people going to this spot will now use you know our new highway. That's kind of my thoughts for um, for that whole spot. And I'll show you guys where I moved our, um, our little power plants to. So they're just now located over here. It's kind of swell looking area. So my thoughts for this um, little sector was to make it kind of like a high-tech industrial kind of, um, you know, that kind of feel. So I've, um, you know, made some solar production, put in these little, you know, solar fields. These are kind of fun. You got little parking lots with solar panels on top. And then this is all commercial buildings, just so we can kind of get some industry going. And my thoughts, which you guys can um, let me know if you're on board for this, is I want to take the um, Hadron Collider, maybe put that over here as well. And we can probably put in the, f uh, the fusion uh, reactor as well. That'll be great for a generating power plant, right? Which doesn't think costs a million dollars. Hey, that's pretty expensive. And then over here as well, uh, I downloaded some more um, university assets and that kind of stuff. So we actually get these really cool, I'll kind of show you these like giant you know, university campus buildings, right? So I was thinking what we could do is just maybe make almost like, kind of like a university campus over here, but it'll be more of a high-tech kind of learning center. And uh, you can kind of see I already named this area. So it's the Solar Avenue Tech Center, kind of like that. There's some wind farms and stuff in the background too. And I did all this because we were actually running low on um, electricity. We were like just hinting at touching the, um, the yellow there. So we definitely needed a little bit more production. And you kind of see to serve this area, I've just kind of set up like a little makeshift spot just for some services. And I completely forgot to put in the garbage. Let's just put one of those over there. Cool. That works. And that's connected. Excellent. Okay. So yeah, why don't we um why don't we yeah, why don't we work on that? I think that's kind of a, a fun little game plan. And before we head over there, let me just show you um, a couple more things. So over here, we've got um, an extension to our collector lanes. Because the collector lanes themselves, they weren't really accomplishing a whole heck of a lot if it was just for that um, that one exit, right? So I think we can probably sneak at least one more interchange in through here. And we had a uh, suggestion to come in, um, sorry, a suggestion that did come in from our good old friend Ubad Dean. And uh, he was saying that for um, our suburbs, we should be maybe um, kind of going over to the um, park low uh, interchanges, using those a little bit more over here. And that's just um, short for like partial um, cloverleaf. And I think it'd be kind of fun to maybe, um, yeah, sneak one in over here. Maybe we can kind of have like an expressway or something kind of, you know, that kind of feel. But yeah, so let me show you the, um, the trains and all that transportation stuff, and then we can kind of get started on our little, um, high-tech kind of uh, university area. So the train station itself, I think this just looks awesome. So you can kind of see lots and lots and lots of bus lines, definitely lots of activity. And uh, we should see some trains kind of rolling through. There we go, all right. And I changed a few of the roads around over here just to kind of make sense a little bit more of the area. So for starters, um, this road now has been converted to a smaller, you can kind of see there's um, still two lanes by two lanes, but I'm using one of the uh, network extension roads. And I did this um, to stop people from parking right here. And uh, it, I mean, when we had the four lane avenue, it's just a little bit unrealistic to kind of see like a whole row of cars parked and then buses trying to like, you know, navigate in between them. And, uh, and so for this part over here, I've upgraded the road um, to include bus lanes. You kind of see, not the whole area. Just where the bus traffic is kind of the greatest. Okay, so we just go, you know, the whole way through here. And that was just to, you know, let the buses go a little bit faster in and around that area if traffic kind of builds a bit. But, you know, traffic's not too bad. Still a nice little, uh, little upgrade, I think. And then again, it kind of helps the buses route a little bit, you know, more efficiently through here. And I went with red as kind of like our color scheme for the, um, for the new buses. You can kind of see lots and lots and lots of lines. I left one of the lines, um, or one of the bays open, because I wanted to do it directly to our um, island when we uh, redo that. And I think that'll be coming up in the next, like, you know, a few episodes. 
There's just a lot of stuff I want to, you know? I want to start getting tackled. And just in general, I don't really want to spend, you know, too many episodes on any one given project. I'm kind of having fun just bouncing all over the place, just doing little bits here and there. And I hope you guys don't mind me doing these little, you know, bits of off-camera. I know you kind of like me uh, not doing that, like I said, but we'll, um, we'll kind of see how this goes in terms of pace, because I'm kind of, like I said, enjoying this, and, and it's just, you know, it's fun. It's finally, finally tackling a whole bunch of stuff we've been talking about doing. Okay, so, again, steering back of this, you can kind of see most of the bus routes, they went... You know, essentially where they were before, a little bit overlap onto the island, but essentially we're hitting the university, going in and around this whole area. You'll notice though that I actually left this whole middle spot um, open and bus free, and my thoughts for that were um, also in like an up, you know, a coming episode. I want to uh, redo this area. You know, I've seen that I think in the last episode. We'll switch over these train stations to that um, modular one over here and then we can get a few more um, routes going, and then we can connect the uh, train to the back part and just, you know, get things going a little bit more efficiently, and then we can cross over, connect these guys, have some fun with that. Lots of options there. And a few of you have been asking for um, uh, some of the transport hubs to be named after you, and not a problem. I'm just gonna go ahead and do the upgrades um, first, and then I'll name a few after you guys. So maybe not next next episode, but whenever we um, kind of get that done. And my last curveball idea, which I totally forgot to mention during the um, uh, when I was talking about the highway extension here, is we have the makings of a really really solid rail corridor over here. You can see we got no like real rail traffic, but we got tons and tons and tons of volume. But no one's really getting backed up. So awesome area. So that tells me I think we can add maybe a little bit more trains over here. So my curveball idea was to break a line off of this, go over and around here, make another train station, a little hub or something over here, um, make our way up and over, connect over to this line, and then that way we can kind of just, yeah, add to this corridor, and then we can start bringing some more passenger trains and stuff into the whole, you know, this whole side. I think that should all just tie together very nicely. And I'm really excited just to kind of, you know, connect this all together. Oh my goodness, there's so much I want to do. Okay, so those are my basically my plans. I hope you guys are on board with that. But it should be should be a lot of fun. And I am really excited to do the island. I know I keep putting it off. It just it's gonna be such a big project, you know? And it's gonna span many, many episodes. So I kinda wanna just, you know, bang out a few of these little side projects that kinda keep coming up and just tackle a few of the larger things that we've been putting off. And then maybe we can slowly work our way at the island. Because it's, it's one of those things where, like, we're going to have to dedicate, I think, you know, like I said, I think a few episodes ago, we'll probably have to do at least two or three, and, like, one of those being a double. And it's the kind of thing, like, we unfortunately wouldn't be able to put too much of it on hold, uh, just because of, like, you know, how much traffic goes through here and all the other routes and everything that's connected and affected by the island. So it's one of those we got to do all of once kind of moments. But, um, yeah, we'll do that kind of soon. Okay. So for this area... I think what we can do is keep this area a little bit off to the side, and then just in the middle over here, we can make our little um, university campus. So let me try something over here. Let me just try this. Great, and what I'm going for is with a symmetrical box, kind of is in line, you know, with that little area. And then in general, I want our approach. How many units is this? 42, so I need 21. That's 21 right there. Perfect, is that actually even great? Even better. Perfect, so we got our little approach. I like that. And then from here, maybe we can make this like a little one-way ring. Now why don't we try three lane one way? And in order to make three lanes kind of function and, and be a little bit rational, what we can do is just add a few more little, you know, side streets here and there just kind of line and then connect to this. And then that way, 
traffic won't really, you know, have to back up for anybody and they can still freely move around. And do we get these going the right way? Did somehow, that's interesting. But no problem, it's an easy fix. Okay, so before we put in some side streets, let's just see what a few of these campuses and stuff will look like. Okay, it's one of those situations again where it won't quite line up, unfortunately, with what we're after. And I do hate when this happens. Oh, that one looks like it'll line up, though. So maybe we can use that. Okay, that's, not, not, that's not too bad. So from here... Get these going. Well, hey now, this is okay. And then behind the campus, I'd like rows of parking lots. I think that'll be a little bit more realistic. You can never have enough parking lots. That's all I've learned from this game so far. Um, and of course, these are going to be a little bit backwards. Excellent. Oh, can we get super lucky? No, that'd be so cool if that worked. Darn it. Okay, so that tells me we have to change the direction of those. So why don't we go like this? And how many of these can we fit, I wonder? Um, I don't think we can get three in. Darn it, that'd be so cool if we could. So we'll do the two. Get those relatively centered. Okay, and let's take a stab and see if we can get more in. I think that's enough spacing. Nope, way too much. And are these not going to line up? Is that, is that really what's happening here? Okay, good, they will. That's just a little bit, a little bit confusing because of the uh, slope of the ground there. But okay, that's that's kind of what I'm after. And so just some you know buildings along that part right there. And I did say I wanted to use these really cool new buildings. And so why don't we put one? What are these letters? Yeah, A and B wing. Put B wing over here. A wing over here. Let's see how that looks. No, you know what? I think actually these should go to the back of the campus. Let's try that for scale. That works. It's almost like we should have something in the middle right here. These are really tall buildings and they're kind of, you know? Look a bit. Maybe we can go like this. They look better spaced out. Okay. That's a little bit more of what I'm after. And then now, can we possibly put our Hadron Collider right here? We can. Oh, cool. That lines up like beautifully. I think we should have terraformed this whole area beforehand, but. Not the end of the world. I think we're a little bit too uh, too far into it now to do that, but that's awesome. Okay, so we can probably get this dish in somewhere as well, just to make that feel like it's part of the you know the communications kind of you know. Put that over here. That's just out of course. It's just out of our range. And out of curiosity, maybe we can team this one up with the microwave dish. It's been downloaded from a, uh, or it's like a, it's a clone of the uh, the one from SimCity. Okay, so let's go like this. And that's kind of cool because they both kind of point in the same general direction, which is kind of it's kind of fun. Okay, so bring these guys onto our little water network. I like that. I think we can put another parking lot right in here, to be honest. 
Oh, I'd like that so much more if it's um, lined up with the other one. So maybe we can make these two kind of work together somehow. Hmm, almost. So I'm just going to pause this since we just disconnected the power right there. No, same idea, we're almost there. I think we're going to keep running into that problem, though, unless I... Yeah, no, I think... I think that's the best I can get, and that's okay. So let's put that right there. Let's offset it, actually, because it's... That looks a bit nicer. Okay, we can bring... These guys back. We knew we could do it. Just go like that. There we go. Connects that little area, makes them feel like they're part of the team. And then just some just a few buildings. Okay, so I'll put the power back on since these guys are now connected. And I'm going to bring the fusion. I'll worry about bringing the power in in a second. Uh, out of money. Of course. Right, these things are a million dollars a piece. Of course we're out of money. Okay, so I got no choice but to put the clock on, which is totally fine and dandy. But that just means we got to bring um, power and, and whatnot over here, which is also totally no problem. And side note, guys, we're less than a week away from starting the, um, the second season here. February 18th. Just, uh, what is that, five short days away now? Today is Saturday the 13th. The day before Valentine's Day, so... Happy almost Valentine's Day, guys. Alright, so let's get some life and some action over here. Let's bring power in. Just go from the back. Sneak our way over like that. Excellent. Very nice. Now, I wonder if we could get some people to live over here. I don't see why not. Okay, start with that. And I can see us probably needing a little bit more services over here as this place kind of expands. I'm tempted to just double up on some of these buildings just right here. And in general, I think I'm going to keep this a very low feeling for the rest of the buildings. I think this is enough tall stuff, so we'll keep it like low density and everything else. And we can probably sneak a few more of these school kind of themed assets over here. Okay, so we get some dorms in place. It's like, yeah, this little spot we can line with dorms. Okay, so let's go here and here. And there and there. How does that look? That yeah, looks okay. And then I'd like a row of dorms going in the back as well. And for some reason, we just can't seem to get these lined up. That's interesting. Is that going to be the same problem over here? Probably. I mean, it's just the way the um, the roads are kind of going right there. Okay, so I don't think we're um, going to be able to, to fix that. So I wonder if we can just make them look a bit nicer by um, changing the spread. So why don't we try something like going like this? Oh my goodness, there's no winning right now. There, I'll make that a four-way. Perfect. And now, hopefully, one on each side like this. There we go. Yes, getting there. Great. 
And then now, hopefully we can get... Oh, interesting. Interesting. Yes, this is... Okay, so since that's the case... Sorry guys, I'm a little all over the place. Oopsies. Oh, yes, 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 yes. That was not what I was going for, but this is way better. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, so... Same speech. Lower buildings, keep them nice and, you know, keep our skyline, skyline low. Skyline. That's not a word. And I'm going to put the level up cap in, just so we don't get too, uh, too tall. Put some of these in as well. So we're going to need a name for our um, little uh, research uh, facility over here. So if you guys want to suggest some names, totally feel free. And then in here, we're going to want to cap everything. And we're not going to build any of those, but just, you know, just in case. Okay, and that'll keep our buildings from becoming too overpowering. And now, is there another building or two of these we could drop? Possibly could go for a little school, just so we kind of cover, you know, all the bases type thing. The only thing is it's going to kill our symmetrical look. So why don't we just do that? There we go. And then we can possibly put some trees actually right down that little uh, little line right there. Okay, so we're gonna use these guys. And conveniently, we don't have to turn the um, propagator key on or not. We can actually sneak these right in. They're super convenient. I like that quite a bit. Alright, now why are these offices so tall? I guess the offices are just tall by nature. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> okay, well, let's let's let the zone develop a bit more, and then we'll kind of see how um, how things are looking. I'm kind of um. I mean, I'm kind of okay with that height, to be honest. I don't want it to be too much taller. Okay, so let's sneak a peek and maybe grab a couple more school-type buildings out of our little custom list here. And they're not the type of school things. I don't want to really track and feel. Like, it's not really this kind of campus, right? This one's more, more geared towards, you know, learning and that kind of stuff. Not necessarily sports. So let's see how that looks as kind of like a little park area for our approach. I really like that. I think if we do some pedestrian pass behind it. Okay, so we'll keep the concrete pass. And see if we can just reproduce that. Get a little bit farther out. And this should just be able to connect. Yes! Perfect. Oh, I'm really really digging this. And then, in general, maybe we can have like a little walking path that kind of goes around the um, outskirts of our facility. And let's make that a little bit further. There we go. And, oh boy. Okay, so let's go from here. To, okay, so that's the bass. Let's just kind of take a stab at that. There we go. Okay. That's cool. This is definitely... I like how these things just kind of come together, you know?
And kind of came in here with a little bit of a, you know, somewhat of a vision on how this was going to unfold, but... Uh, I think this is a little bit nicer than I had originally pictured. I'm going to pause that, because I'm actually going to end up destroying this um, power line. But we can bring that back in, that's very simple. And there we go. The makings of something great. Very happy. Okay, so I think we'll um, I think we'll kind of call it an episode right here. But uh, no, this is really <clears throat> a nice little foothold in this uh, this spot. So you guys, let me know for some more thoughts on how we can make this area a bit better, and definitely let me know your thoughts on just the bigger picture. And just kind of like a little recap, you know. Um, the game plan is just to, um, you know, build a new junction right here, bring this highway over to here, make a junction, connect to these uh, crazy kids, and then um, our goal for that is to, you know, eliminate, uh, eliminate traffic here, and we'll connect this to underground over to here, make an interchange right here, and just hopefully, you know, make this whole spot much more efficient, and then our farming in this whole spot will be kind of moved a little bit to here, and we'll do our best to kind of make the, you know, these kind of areas connect. And then the most ambitious one is kind of bringing the trains in and, you know, recreating a new rail corridor over here. So, lots of ideas. And then we still got to keep on working on the, um, the old uh, Brooklyn area. It's definitely starting to come together. And I love how different it just looks. Like, it's such a, like, almost a different city altogether. I mean, this is kind of cool. I'm, I'm digging this whole, you know, our little center square thing. So all in all, things are definitely starting to come together, so I should be able to keep you guys busy for the next uh, week or so until um, our new season starts. And then once that starts, you know, get ready for work on two cities, basically. And who knows what else. And I also like to start work on my time lapse, so I'll be keeping you guys updated on that. Okay, so that is it. And um, I may have mentioned it or not in a previous episode, but I am doing a trade show this weekend um, and next weekend. So it's like I'm working for like, you know, basically three straight weeks. So I will do my absolute best to record another episode um, in the next couple of days. I probably won't be tomorrow night because I think I'm going to rest a little bit because I have to work again on Monday. So I'll try to record another episode um, just Monday night for you guys. And um, until then, just kind of, you know, hang out and then whatnot. Um, and I, obviously I do want to get more episodes out faster. It's just, unfortunately, time just doesn't, not really on my side. Okay, but I do appreciate you guys being so patient, and again, thank you very much for sticking with it. And, you know, I won't be doing another computer upgrade for a while, so I shouldn't have any, um, you know, anything slowing us down. And I'm just really impressed with the way, you know, the computer runs now. The game just looks so much smoother, it just feels, feels much better, too. Okay, that's it. You know me, I will rant forever. Um, so I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care of yourselves, and uh, again, thanks for sticking with it. Alright guys, happy building. See you later.